up you guys, Marty here again, hanging with James Hood, the guitar repairman extraordinaire. Thank you. Uh, but he's not necessarily going to repair a guitar today, he's going to show you how to re put a string on a nylon string guitar. And then also, uh, James has a YouTube channel where he talks about his craft, you know, the different things that, that he's into doing, so you can click the link below to check that out as well. Let's get to it. All right, show it. Yeah, because you haven't done it yet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to talk about how to change a string on a nylon string guitar, or classical, or flamenco. They're actually they're made of different woods, but we can get into that later. So right now the string is not here. So I need to uh, determine. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry about that. <laughs> what gauge we're going to use here? Oh, that's interesting, though. Right? <clears throat> so I, that's like a 30... Is there any ectoplasm in there? <clears throat> this is a 42, so that'll work. Yeah. You know, it'll get you by in a pinch. Okay, so I always see these weird little, you know, we got little knots. What's the story on that? Well, this is how the string is actually retained on the bridge back here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this through. And, and you see how this is kind of doubled over? Yeah. Okay? But you, you want to do that with your with your clear strings. The clear strings obviously don't have anything really that they can grab against. Like, you know, you don't hear anything. Right. See, the string's going to grab against itself. So, you really don't need a whole lot. Now, there are different methods for uh, for tying on strings, and I'm sure everybody's got kind of their own Yeah, show how you did. On. You will try and do this so you guys can see it. So I run that through the loop back there. Okay. okay. Now I'm going to pull the string tight right and there. push this loop together. So you can see it's just one. Okay. Okay, so it's just a loop and you run it around the back. And you want to make sure that this this tail doesn't come in, come over the top because there's a chance that it could slip that way. That's it, huh? Yeah, that's it. So that's good there. The other thing you want to make sure of is that this is down in this pocket as far as it can go. That helps with your brake angle over the back of the, over the back of the saddle. Okay. So up here at the top with the peg head. Yeah. Let's... Okay. So I'm gonna align my. I'm gonna align the hole. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> hey, I did. You know, look that hole. That's what she said. Thing is going on right now, and I. I <laughs> I just, I can't not, you know, it's just, I love Steve Carell, uh, what can oh, you yeah, say, yeah, yeah. you know, he's awesome, okay, so I run this through, and back up, so it's around, it's halfway around the roller right now, now watch this, this is really easy, this takes the mystery out of it, and it works really good, because a lot of times your strings just, they're settling so much and they're stretching so much, but this this really helps. So if you just do a one and a two and a three, kind of sounds like Lawrence Welk, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> You've got it set. So now I'm going to wind this on with my handy dandy winder. Yeah, drill it, drill baby, drill. Okay. I'm not going to be able to tune this as fast as I tuned the last one. That's alright. Alright, so. Last time we broke a G string. This time we've broken an E string. So we're going to be... This is going to be kind of the same method as this one that we just did. But this is going to have a couple more loops to it. So, <clears throat> what you like to do is take your end, go around the tree, and the rabbit goes through the hole once. Do <laughs> you remember not tying? Yes. <laughs> and twice, and just for good measure, three. Okay? Pull that tight. And you see how you want this tail to end up down on the back side of the bridge. And we'll use the same method that we used here, but this time we'll actually put a few more loops in it. Now, Another good reason to do this is because you notice how many wraps are on some of these 
other rollers. Mm -hmm. I know BB King loves wrapping the whole entire string. <laughs> okay. But if you have a tack and you have someone who's willing to sit there and stretch and stretch and stretch and get those things to seat, then fine. That's okay. Um, but it's usually best to have like, you know, two and a half. I mean, really, that's, that's all you really need. Uh, now, when you do this method, you loop around. Let's see, that's one, two, three, one more. So we want to do about four loops here. And kind of pull it tight like that. Kind of looks like we're tying a fishing knot, too. We're fishing for bass. Real cam. There it is. Hear that thing stretch? Yeah, they stretch a lot. One thing you can do is you can give them a little bit of a tug. Not too much, because you don't want to tug the life out of the string. They'll lose their crispness. No, we don't want that. We, we want them to stay crispy. Crispy. Hey, thanks a lot, James. That was really informative. Yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> uh, you, what, what's some of your, uh, what are you focusing on on the internet? You YouTube channel? Well, yeah, I'm at James Hood Guitar on on YouTube. I'm focusing on, you know, restrings, and actually I'm starting to throw some things on there like uh, neck resets, and I actually started a, a mandolin neck reset on there that I filmed. Explain my... a, what a, a lot of people don't even know what that means, a oh. neck reset. What does that well, mean? Here's a body of a mandolin, for instance. Mm -hmm. The neck's off of it. This is actually the one that you'll see me doing on, on my YouTube channel. Um, what's happened is that this neck was basically, this is an extreme explanation, but the neck is sitting this way when the mandolin comes to me. Uh, my job is to make it sit this way. Playable. Right, so you, can, you have the adjustability in the instrument. I see. It's kind of a goofy way to show you, but <laughs> basically, but it's I mean, it's basically gluing the neck back on, right? Yeah. Well, it's actually at the right angle and everything. It is, and there's a yeah. whole lot that's involved yeah. with doing yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs>